everyone today we're going to be looking at the grand prix chess tournament 2022 finals of the league one which is happening in berlin so the players who have qualified for the finals are hikaru nakamura and levan aronian so this is the first game of the finals the game started off with e4 and it was the real opaque opening both players are developing their pieces this is main theory here he goes for a3 black goes for queen d7 white plays knight c3 Levan goes for knight d8 now he can get his knight on e6 knight h2 white is going to put his knight on g4 black plays knight e6 knight g4 here black goes for king h8 he moves out of his diagonal and now he can play f5 in the future knight into f6 bishop into f6 and queen g4 now this knight cannot move rook a8 a4 b4 knight e2 now he'll get his knight on the king side queen d8 c3 b takes c3 b takes c3 and now g6 now he'll get his bishop here and play f5 bishop d5 takes takes and knight c5 here hikaru gives up this pawn counter attacks the rook but there is knight into d3 and knight into e1 he ensured he would have gone for queen c4 but he played bishop h6 knight takes d3 and there is a trade of pieces now he goes for queen c4 and now he has a lot of activity and now black's pieces are kind of stuck here even though he has a pawn up white has a lot of activity and here actually white is the one who is playing for a win black goes for h4 he spoils the structure Black goes for king f7. Here white goes for h5. He could have gone for queen c6. And then he could have entered from this side. But he chose to play h5 first. After g takes h5. Now he plays b5. Here black plays e3. He counter attacks. Here you don't want to take this pawn. Because black will take your pawn. And then he'll have a very strong attack. So white went for f4. Black plays queen b8. King f1. Black takes the pawn, white goes for queen c6 and it looks like white is going to promote his pawn soon. Here black plays e2. After king into e2, here he goes queen a7 and now he's going to enter from this side and try to create some destruction. a6, now he's going to exchange the queen and promote his pawn. Black goes for queen g1. This pawn hangs, but after king g6, white cannot give more checks. Here white goes for knight d2, queen h2, king d1 and even if this pawn can promote, here black is giving a lot of checks. Queen into f4, a7, bishop to g5. And here you don't want to promote into a queen because this is just a mate in one. So white defends it first. Black plays b4. Now this queen is not defending it. So he plays queen a2. And black pushes b3. If you take with the knight, then this is just a draw and there will be a lot of checks. Wherever you run. So instead white went for queen a5. And now he again defends this knight. Here black plays queen e3 and even though white has two queens on the board, black just gives a perpetual check because the pawn guards the square and the game ends in a draw. And now if tomorrow's game ends in a draw, then there will be the tie break. So there will be a shorter time control. So let's see how it goes and I'll see you in my next video.